In this activity, we're going to be using Revit architecture with a student workbook to start the construction of a small house, which we will build into a much larger structure. So go ahead and open up your Revit 2008 workbook and jump up to page 16. And it asks us to build an exterior wall using the rectangle command that is 8 inches generic wall by 20 feet in height and also make sure that you're making it 40 by 30. The drawing indicates a different size. So go ahead and make sure it's 40 by 30. And I'll go ahead and start that with my wall. And once you get that done, you may want to zoom in a little bit. And then it asks us to go ahead and make interior walls. So I'm going to add another wall. This time it wants 5 inch walls, generic, wants us to do it with the, the line tool, and you want to just center it. Okay, so then let's go ahead on page 18, we're going to put doors in, we'll put two doors, and then we're going to put a double door in, so we'll go to our doors. Fix the door here. All right, and then we're going to get a double door, so we're probably going to need to load new door. So it's going to be either in your drive or on the server somewhere. Go ahead and select the double flush door and drop that in there. However, we have to modify it. So select the door and it wants to be 72 by 84. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put in windows. So I'm counting nine windows fix 36 by 48 so let's go ahead and do that and you want the window frames to be on the outside not on the inside so make sure you do that and if you need to change it you just select flip it around make sure the tags are on the outside Then go ahead and put your floor in. Select the inside of the building. And then finish sketch. Then take a look at it in 3D. All right, there you go. Now I notice my walls are not tall enough in the interior, so I'm just going to raise those up. And if you need to fix your walls, go ahead and do that this time. Let's go ahead and shade with edges. And then go ahead to the level one, and we're going to do some dimensions here. So one of the things that it's telling you we can do here is if we move the dimension over and it should be 40 but if for some reason it's not 40 you can just key it in. So for example if we were supposed to do 60 here I typed in 60 the whole wall would change. But that's not what we want to do so if it's not 40 you can modify it in that manner. Okay then on page 25 we're going to go ahead and build out the interior of the house. 
like so. So go ahead and do that. Make sure we're using generic 5 inch type and make sure they're 20 feet high and then your doors are going to be 36 inch by 84. So I'll go ahead and start that. So make sure that your walls are unconnected. If you select level 2, you may not be able to change the, the height here. So you want these unconnected. And then on the parameters, if they're not 20, go ahead and make it 20 feet. Alright, and then we're just going to go ahead and start building these walls. Alright, so once we get those walls built. Then we're going to go ahead and put in our doors. 36 by 84. And put those in. And once you get them in, you can go ahead and fix them you need to and then it asks us to go ahead and lower this door so it's 10 feet to the bottom Whoop. and the easy way to do that is select the door where it says 15 or what I have for you, just type in 10. There it goes. Alright, go ahead and inspect what you've done. Go to 3D. There we go, perfect. Okay, then on page 25 for number 33, we want to add ceilings. So add ceilings to the room. So I'll go ahead and pick level 1 for my ceiling and then go ahead and execute this. So go ahead on the modeling taskbar, select ceiling and we want a 2 foot by 4 foot ACT system. Okay, now apparently we can just go ahead and click once in each room and they should automatically go in there. Okay, so I'm getting an error message, but the ceilings are going in anyway. So even if you are getting error messages, go ahead and put them in. Okay, so ceiling seems to be working now. Okay. All right, so go ahead and inspect your. There it works for me. Level one. Okay, and there's my ceiling. Okay, now it asks us to go ahead and put a roof on. Add roof. And it wants to make sure that we do it by footprint. So in the browser, open floor plans level two. And follow along. So on the overhang, let's do uh, 1 foot 8 inches. And then we want to select the dotted line so it's on the outside of the house. So make sure it's all the way around the outside, not the inside. And then go ahead and select a finished roof. And let's go ahead and attach the highlighted walls to the roof. So press yes. And then let's take a look at it in 3D view, see what we have. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and fix that. All right, so one of the things you can do is, if you see something like this happen, go ahead and select the object, 
select attach, and then select your roof. Okay, got a little trick there. Oh. Okay, then on page 28 and 43, it wants us to change the style of roof we have. So go ahead and select your roof. Should we probably be in a top view on this? So go ahead and select the roof. I'm in the site view. And then select edit. And then go ahead and select the right or the left at a time. Select it and clear the defined slopes. Do that to both of them. And then in the text, go ahead and type in two feet and one half inch. Do that for the bottom also. And then go ahead and select to finish roof. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. 3D view. All right. And then the last thing it wants us to do is add a camera. So let's go ahead to our level one. Let's go to our site. Let's go ahead and find the camera. So go ahead into the view, select your camera, put it down, and then you should have your exercise just about complete. Go ahead and put the shaded view. All right. And go ahead and save your work. And you've completed the unit one activity.